Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and today's video is sponsored by a company called You Don't Awake. So without further ado, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into the video. They sent me a 22 inch 13 by 4 kinky curly lace wig. I'm not 100% sure the density. I think it's just the standard density that it comes, but I will be sure to link all of that information down below. So in the beginning, I just wanted to show you guys the packaging, how the hair came. It also came with a brush and also a wig cap, which is standard with a lot of wig packaging. So here I'm just showing you guys how the lace looks. It is pretty full, but they do have the three combs in the lace as well as the band in the back and the adjustable strap. So I just want to show you guys that real quick. And I am going to go in and bleach the knots because they were very dark and very full. So I just want to give this wig a more natural look. So I'm just going in with some BW2 and some Blonde Me. And I'm just going to apply this all over the wig and let this sit for about 35 to 45 minutes. And I am also going to add some foils on top just to help insulate the hair so that way it colors the way that I want. I did notice that these knots are a little bit on the thicker side. So you just want to make sure that you give it adequate time to be saturated and to be lifted. So I let this sit for about 45 minutes. Now I'm just gonna rinse this off with a purple shampoo. I let this air dry for about a day. And now I'm just going back in. I threw my hair in two French braids, did my makeup off camera. Now I'm just throwing on this wig cap and I'm gonna show you guys this wig. I am gonna adjust it using the straps in the back. I have a 22 inch circumference head. So I'm just gonna adjust it to my liking, making sure that it's nice and tight because I do wanna wear this unit glueless. Um, the hairline is pretty full, so with this type of unit, I would probably just wear a middle part or a side part, not necessarily showing the lace in the front, just because I didn't want to pluck too, too much, but you'll see me throw this one in a second, and I am going to go in and pluck just a tiny bit, but I'm um, just being mindful that you will have to pluck a little bit more in this unit, so if you're a beginner, just make sure to take your time and take it in small sections. Me, since this is a kinky curly unit, I prefer to wear it just with a middle part because it's curly, so... This is the perfect unit if you just want to get up and go and not have to do too much. So here I am just going in, just plugging the hairline just a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to go in and make my middle part with some foam wrap. Also, before I foam wrap the hair, I am going in just making sure that it fits to my liking. And I'm going to cut the lace just doing one side at a time. You just want to make sure that you're taking your time with this. And I always have to cut by the ears because my head is really small. So I always have extra lace on both of the ear tabs, especially when I'm doing a 13 by 4 or 13 by 6. So you just want to cut it to your liking, make sure everything is fitting. And then once that's done, I am going to go in and apply some makeup as well. Just because this is a transparent lace and I want it to blend with my skin tone a little bit better. I'm just using the same foundation that I have on, which is Fenty 390, and I'm just putting this on a brush, and I'm just going to apply this over the lace. I did start to apply it on the top, and I realized I need to do it underneath, just so that way I don't cause any of the hair to stain. So I'm going to wipe that off in a second, but just be sure to be careful with this part and just apply this under the lace. So now the hairline's looking more natural. She's not even glued down, but this is just how it looks with the makeup on it. And I'm just showing you how much it blends better. So now I'm just gonna go in. 
I am going to use that edge comb slash brush that they gave me to put in the middle part. And then once it's to my liking, I am going to mold it down using some foam wrap. And then I am going to spray this hair with some water. I wanted to show you guys how the texture looks uh, straight out of the packaging. So that way there's no confusion as to how you style this, okay? So I'm just taking my time with my part. You guys know I'm horrible with parting. So I'm just making sure that that's nice and straight. And I am going with some Nairobi foam wrap just to set everything in place. And because I could not find my scarf, I actually opted to use two wig caps, which you're going to see me pop on and pop off. I just let the wig cap sit on my hair for about 10 minutes just to get the hair to lay in the direction that I want it. So now I'm spraying this hair down. I am not adding any additional product. I just want to see how this hair is going to move and how it's going to be styled with just water and its natural curl. So I'm just saturating this thoroughly with the mister that I have from Primar. Just making sure that I have it nice and thoroughly saturated so that way I can see how the curls are going to look. Once that's saturated to my liking, I am going back in with some more foam wrap just to get all those little flyaway hairs to lay down. And then I will let that set for about a minute or two. And then you guys will see how the curl pattern looks. So this is what I was talking about with the wig cap. I just put this on just to make sure that it's molded into place. And then you see me taking it off, adding just a little bit more foam wrap. And then I'm going to show you guys the end result in just a moment. I'm going to tag Judona Wigs information down below in the description box as well as my information for social media. Let me know if you guys have worked with this company before and if you like this unit. Again, I'm just spraying this down because I wanted to see the natural curls. And now that everything is set into place, I'm just going back in since it had time to air dry and I just want to resaturate the hair. So you can definitely add a leave-in. I just opted to do the natural curls just so you guys can see how this looks straight up packaging and how ideally I would wear this. This is how the hairline looks didn't do too much and yeah that is pretty much all so thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to brush this hair out just to get a little bit more of an even texture even distribution of the moisture and that is pretty much it so again thank you guys so much for watching i will tag you donors information down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys